is Multitude Gaming's Maze. We've been uh, doing some YouTube promotional stuff. A um, couple of games so far. Last game, we were looking at who I thought was LZ Gamer. In fact, he, it is Live Zerg. It's Roxkiss or uh, Rock. Uh, blah blah. I hate trying to say that team's name. In any <laughs> case, it was Friar versus LZ. It is not LZ Gamer. It is Live Zerg. Thank yep. you, everybody, for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, actually we do have another game for you guys but yep. uh this is maze maze is trying to say something and i keep interrupting him so i'm no, gonna shut the fine. fuck up <laughs> uh, i was just gonna introduce these characters but before i was gonna do that i was just going to invite any of the viewers out there to come check out mxg at multitudegaming.net um slash forums uh always a friendly friendly crowd will gather and greet you there so come check us out but in the meantime we have a really really promising zvz here uh shaft if you want to introduce these two phenomenal players oh absolutely but uh before i do that i want to uh give a little bit of voice to the chat we had yes man from vvv in the chat watching the games from lz and uh friar he says to say, uh, I don't think that was really LZ doing well, but more so the toss just lost as to what build LZ was doing. Mm. Eh, he's got a really fair point. You know what? I want Yesman's input on game one. I really want to know if he has any idea what the hell Fryer was thinking with that strange, strange three-gate attack. That well, he's no, no longer in the viewer list, so... Mm. Uh, He's not going to be able to give us any input, unfortunately. But uh, let's get this game unpaused in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, crap. <laughs> let's go back to the minute mark because Shaft still had it at times 8. <laughs> so we'll start it again in 3, 2, 1, go. On the bottom left-hand side in the red zerg chunks, we have TSL's Hyun. And on the top right hand side of, I believe this is Daybreak. Yep. We have in the blue Zerg chunks, Alice Store. Now, um, I don't really know very much about Alice Store personally, but uh, TSL, you know, fairly good team. You know what? If he's playing against uh, a TSL member, he's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Good for that. Well, uh, it is Zerg versus Zerg, so. Nobody's good at Zerg versus Zerg, so <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll give him we'll give him the benefit of the doubt no matter what. Whether he wins, PLO he said um, Zerg versus Zerg is the reason that kids can't play this game because it promotes gambling. Oh, who said that? <laughs> that would be TLO. Oh, nice. That is amazing. Okay then, this coming from a Terran player. <laughs> no, 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 no. TLO switched to Zerg. Oh, I mean, he switches he, back and forth more than I change underwear, but... Mm. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Regardless, we have a fairly fast hatch from Alistor, whereas our, Zerg, our other Zerg player is going for what's looking like a speedling expand, seeing as he's... Well, he's leaving one guy on gas, so it's going to be a... Speed lane followed by Bane lane expand. Which I like that. Um, that's usually fairly standard. Um, Alistor, however, you know, he's uh, got a fast hatch. Let's take a look at this work account. Just about even, which I would expect. Yeah, yeah. Things are not going to uh, yeah. change too drastically. Until Neither this player is really bad. committing to the units yet. Yeah, basically both players are going to stay roughly the same as far as production goes until both queens are up at this point. Um, actually, I would say Zer the red zerg has better production because he gets seven per inject cycle, whereas Alistor only gets six. Yeah, and um, yeah, and in ZVZ, especially on a 
map like Daybreak, the Overlord spread is incredibly important. Uh, not just for offensive scouting, but for defensive scouting. So you can, I mean, Daybreak is a huge map. So if you can position your Overlords in really, really good spots, you can pretty much just throw it up until you see them kind of closing in. Because um, you'll have time to get the units out before they arrive at your base, whereas in smaller maps, not so much. By the time you see the units on the field, it can be too late for you. Yeah, um, all of this is very true. Hyun, um, still choosing to do a fairly uh, defensive and economic build, which I really like. Um, whereas we have actually Alistor moving out with slow wings, low wings, just got an adrenaline kick. And uh, the bane wing timing is perfect. Yeah, the bane wings are on the field exactly when they need to be. Um, of course, Alistor now uh, making his own bane wings. So, yep. ooh, it will only take three bane wings to kill that entire group. Oh, very nice there. Nice control there from from here. Yeah, um, our Korean Zerg is doing a really good job against his opponent. We have Alistair trying like to work those in bane a couple wings. of bane wings, and the wings oh, are wow. tearing them up. Lucky for uh, for him there, those bane wings were less than a second away from popping and killing all of those Zerg wings. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's exactly Zerg versus Zerg for you, man. Uh, yep. It's only a split second or a second of Miss Micro is all it takes. And Alistar is making some failings back at home and anticipating the counterattack. As well as that, two spine crawlers. Yep. Okay. Hyun doesn't really seem to be interested in. Hyun's just going to keep drilling. I love exactly what Hyun's done. Um, he's basically shown us nothing but a defensive posture. Yep. Since the minute this game began, whereas Alistor is like going offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense. Which yeah, he's he's just making units, he's making spines, and and you know it's just been running this whole time. And the workers created, I mean the workers count right now really really reflects, yeah, the, you know his dominance so far in this game. Absolutely, and it basically it comes down to bad decision making here from Alistor, um, whereas Hyun is making amazing decisions, having Banelands in exactly the right spot, and being as cost effective as possible. I love how I'm narrating the game and not saying what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alistar decided to go in for another attack, uh, which I, I don't I don't like at all, because the first attack really did nothing. Right. Um, and he didn't really come back with much larger force. It was uh, almost the same size link force as the first time, which at this point in the game, he you know, would be more than more than well prepared for. So uh, I don't like that decision at all from Alistar. Maybe he was trying to force him to make some units because he had a feeling he was behind the drones. Um, but uh, I think you're going to have to send some roaches if you want to do that. The wings aren't going to get it done. We do have uh, Hyun now knowing that his opponent has taken his expansion's gas. Um, I don't think he's aware that the fourth gas has been taken, as far as like four gas total. But um, he could probably guess, and at this point he takes his third. Because if your opponent is just now getting his thir second, third, and fourth gas, you have quite a while to immediately start on the field, but that's definitely what's coming at you. Yeah, uh, no Roach one from Alistar, but double Evo Chambers just finished. Um, oh, okay, so he is getting the ranged upgrade already. Uh, which... Yeah, and there's the infestation pit from Hyun, so he'll be pretty prepared for this. Yeah, um, and, and he really does have to be. I like pretty much every decision Hyun has made this game left. Alistar has gotten himself right back in at the workers created, but uh, as I say that, you know, just skyrockets away. So, ZVZ. ZVZ does it every time, man. But, uh, this is the mid-game lull that happens, but as long as both players are scouting, which we see Hyun dropping an Overseer and Changeling right into his opponent's face, uh, gets a complete read. This is what's required. You just keep pressure on your opponent's third and keep scouting so you know what tech to deal with. And you keep responding to your opponent's tech and he keeps getting a different tech until all the responses are exhausted and everybody moves into the late game. 
Uh, the third for Hion has been really, really badly damaged. So I must have missed a little bit of an attack there on it. Well, there was um, just a small force of wings. Uh, it wasn't really major. Alistor now choosing to take a fourth base as well. And the Hydrodan has been completed for Alistor. I'm not sure what Alistor is doing because now Hyun has been mining on this third for quite some time. Whereas Alistor is just now managing to get his mining. And now Alistor is getting a fourth, but he's not even saturated the third. And Fester Roach for Hyun is going to be really, really difficult to deal with if you're going Wing Hydra. Yeah, Hyun still playing defensive. He's choosing only to use small wing attacks for aggression, but other than that, just playing a completely economic game. Yeah, and Alistar had just completed his Roach War and he's pumping out a lot of Roaches, so Roach Hydra for Alistar with uh, now the Infestation Pit going down for him, so he's just way behind on his tech. And way behind on his supply. He's down by 40 supply. Hyun is definitely showing us um, why he's on TSO. Yep, and Alistar is not showing us why he should be recruited by TSO. <laughs> Still, fairly entertaining game. Um, <laughs> a lot of things. That I mean, let's face it, Alistar on North America would still be High Masters. Ah, uh, of course. Yeah. So, he's, he's hitting his injects, he's doing a lot of the fundamentals right. Because look, every time I've looked at a hatchery, except this particular one right here, <laughs> they're uh, there's usually big, producing big army moving out for Hyun. Yeah, and this right here, this big movement out, is why he's missing injects. <laughs> you know, even without the infestors, that army would just destroy Alistair. Yeah, um, Alistair has to get where his roaches are in front of his hydras. Nice unit spread. Yeah, but Hyun is just completely ready for it. Um, he never lets the roaches get in front of the hydras. Yeah. And that is essentially GG right there. Amazing, yeah. you're really good. This was just a case of one player being, uh, as Alistair put it, <laughs> really, really good and amazing. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> uh, leagues better than the other player. Absolutely. Um, completely shut down. Yep. But, uh, yeah, that wraps up that game, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you learned a lot, um, especially about the defense in Zerg vs. Zerg, because that's all he undid, is he defended exactly what his opponent did by constant scouting. He was constantly sending in an Overlord, constantly putting a Changeling up, constantly putting in an Overseer, uh, sending a Ling here, a Ling there, being aggressive, just to give your opponent one more thing to deal with um, while being completely defensive at home and safe. Yeah. I guess uh, that's There's the no way. need to get aggressive um, at that point, and Hyun, there's no need to overcommit when you don't have to, and Hyun took perfect advantage of that and just droned up and got himself way ahead early on. Yeah. And, and, you know, we were really hard on Alistor, but props to him. He played well. Um, he showed some really solid mechanics, but he was leagues away from his opponent, like you said. Anyways, guys, we've got one more match. Maybe uh, Hyun, because this is a tournament, um, so we've got the next Hyun versus Alistor game. Maybe Alistor can redeem himself, show us if he is as good as Hyun. Or okay, it's a ZVZ and uh, a little bit of luck. Yeah, yeah, because that's so. exactly what I was going to say. At the very beginning of this match, what did you say? TLO said. Okay, it's a gamble, man, and that's why kids can't play this game, because it promotes gambling. So, let's see. Is it a lucky roll of the dice, or will there be a game three because Alistor clears the board with Yun? I don't yep. know. Stay tuned.